Hello, this is going to be an overview of the Web Transfer Module and its usage. Once you have installed the Web Transfer Module onto your WSFTP server, you log in as an administrator, you'll notice that you have the Modules button. Opening the Modules button, we first see the Web Transfer Access. Here is where we grant either the Everyone group, a special group we've created, or individuals access or permission to use the Web Transfer Module. Further configurations for the Web Transfer Module include Web Transfer Settings. Basically this consists of impersonation settings just like those used in the Host Details page. We will gather permissions from this user to access the folders and files through the Web Transfer Module. Once you have done all this, you click Save, and you're ready to log into the Web Transfer Module. We'll use the URL. As you see here, I'm using localhost because this is a demo server. You, of course, would have your IP address here or a name that resolves to that IP address thin client login.aspx. This is the URL that you'll disseminate to your users. I want to take a moment to point out that this is our standard branding. The Web Transfer Modules login page and its home page for the user can be branded to your colors and your corporate logo. We give you the option of either English or Dutch for languages. Once you've been granted permission to use the web transfer module. You simply log in like you would through any other client with a username and password. Here you'll be greeted with your home folder, just as though you had logged in with a client. I have one file in my home folder. To upload a file, I simply choose the Upload Files button. We upload files one at a time by browsing. Simply click the Browse button, choose another file, and open to insert the file, then choose the Upload button. If you have permission to upload or write to your folder, File Upload Completed Successfully will greet you. For downloading files, we simply choose one of the files, choose Downloads, and we're greeted with the same as we would be with a standard browser. We can open, save, or cancel we'll choose to save. Choose a folder where we want to save, this will be fine, and save. Now the dialog is exactly the same as it would be through a browser. I have no further need of this file, so I'll just choose close. All of these buttons remain persistent no matter your level of permission to your folder. If you do not have permission to create a new folder and you click the button, you'll be greeted with the warning that the permission to complete this action has been denied, please contact your administrator. As with all of the buttons, your administrator will determine what level of permissions you actually have. Whatever level of FTP permissions you have using a client for FTP, those will remain persistent throughout your experience with the Web Transfer Module. If you're locked to your home folder, you will not be able to navigate up above it. However, if you're not locked to your home folder or if you have permission to other folders, you can type in that location and press go to get there. Pressing home will return you to your home folder. Our help has helped specific to the web transfer module and is context sensitive. In other words, it's only for the web transfer module. If you allow it, your users can change their password by clicking the change password button. They will be greeted with this dialog where they need to know their username, their old password, and they must verify a new password. This password must match the complexity that you have set up in the WSFTP server. We have a FAQ that has frequently asked questions about our web transfer module. Clicking log out will completely log you out of the web transfer module. This has been an overview of the web transfer module for WSFTP server.